Hello and welcome to episode one of Getting Comfortable with Meal Garden. In this episode, we're going to focus on setting yourself up for success. My name is Jeff. I'm an onboarding specialist and a co-founder at Meal Garden, and that's Marty and Harvey. They are aspiring recipe testers. So Meal Garden is a platform, but how you got yourself into Meal Garden is via an invite from a leading health and wellness professional. So you're either in uh, in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, you're doing a group program, um, through an online community, Facebook, website, all kinds of ways to access your health and wellness professional's content. It's hosted on Meal Garden. So I provide the technology and your health and wellness professional provides the um, resources and content and you use Meal Garden to make it easier to achieve your goals, okay? You're going to notice when we get into Meal Garden that it's not going to look exactly the same. Every Meal Garden is a little different. It's branded and personalized by your health and wellness professional. Um, so everything's going to be a little different, but it all works the same. It's really easy and, and very intuitive, but it might look a little different. What we're going to do here is we're going to look at, uh, in episode one, we're going to navigate Meal Garden, show you how to get move around, look at the different types of content, and then make sure you got your preferences set up for success, okay? All right, so here we are in Meal Garden. And this is what you'd see right after you accepted your invite. Um, the logo might be a little different, but all these buttons across the top, the core functions in Meal Garden are all the same. You'll have a little thing that says your name, probably not your picture yet. From here, you can access your account settings, tutorial videos and write-ups, and any PDFs you've generated. This is a, a banner for your practitioners to so have their picture maybe or a different picture and maybe probably look a little different. You may or may not have chat. This is a chat with your practitioner to talk about your program or your protocols. You have a little welcome message. And then you'll have the different types of content, meal plans, resources, recipe collections, and programs. They'll show up in different orders, but those are the four types of content you'll have access to. Down here in the corner, you'll have an ever-present help. This is for technical support. If you ever run into any glitches or you get confused, you can click here and, and the Meal Garden team's here to help. Then you have this back button. And the back button is just that. It takes you back to where you came from. Okay, so if we uh, type in, press in, say we type, click into content, uh, we're into a meal plan. A meal plan, just so you know, is uh, recipes already added to days and meals, ready for you to either download or for you to schedule, okay? Click, we click into this recipe, we look at it, we click back, we're back to the core meal plan, click back one more time, we're back to recommendations, okay? So that's what meal plans look like. Resources are just resources. They're articles, videos, information, or handouts to help you achieve your goals, okay? Created by your, your uh, professional. Collections are very similar to meal plans, except a collection is not categorized by days and meals, it's just recipes, right? So it's the same idea, you click into the recipe, you're gonna kind of be able to see the same information. Um, see this little heart button up here, this has already been added to my cookbook. If I turn it off, it's gonna remove it from my cookbook. We click back here, we click back one more time, here we are again. And last but not least are programs. A program is a combination of plans, collections, and resources, all related to a, a particular topic. This one is brain health. You know, you can kind of read up about it. If you want to subscribe, you can, which will give you access to all the content. Um, that's, that's how it works. We're going to go back. So to wrap this up, we're going to go over here. We're going to click on account settings. First thing we're going to do is make sure we have our phone number. That's so you can get SMS notifications. Make sure your time zone's set up so we know when to send them. Your preferred measurements will be related to, um, will be set up by your practitioner, but if you want to change it, you can. These are used for ingredients as well as your grocery list. Third party login. If you don't want to remember a new password email combination, you can associate um, Meal Garden with one of these tools. It's a click and go situation. Um, it's OAuth technology, very secure. It's very familiar uh, online technology. You'll click here for your family. You're going to see your name. You're going to click edit. You want to add your picture. So personalize it a bit. And you also want to add everyone else that you regularly eat with. So it might not be a family member, but anybody that you eat with regularly. The reason you do that is as you add meals to your schedule, it'll they'll automatically scale for the people that are in your family. Now you can quickly remove people if you don't eat with them, but it's easier to remove people than to add people. So you can add your family member by typing them in, or you can actually invite them to your meal card. Okay. 
Last but not least, we have notifications. These are already set up. So we have a time to eat on Monday. It's set up for 5 p.m. We want to change that. We can go ahead and do that and set it for three. It's an email or an SMS. And then you have, and this is just the link you'll get to Meal Garden to remind you to get your meal scheduled. You also have time to shop, which is, you know, just a reminder to shop. You okay. So Tuesday and Friday, reminding yourselves to shop via SMS. We're going to save that. We're good to go. All right. So we looked at navigating meal garden. We took the type of content and we made sure you're set up for success. So what's next? We've got five, four other videos around five minutes long, scheduling meals, shopping, using the mobile system and working with recipes. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Would love to hear your feedback and ways to make this better. Or you can click on help in the app and uh, you'll be communicating with me or somebody on my staff. Appreciate you uh, watching to the end of the video. I hope you found this valuable and congratulations on starting your journey. Um, healthier lives are better lives. And uh, I wish you all the, all the success. Take care.